Welcome to About the Winelands. In this show, we will be chatting to leaders, influencers, wine producers, restaurants, and other role players. Tune in every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for your latest episodes. You will find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram TV, Spotify, Apple Podcast, and Google Podcast. <music> Before we start the show, I need to share something really exciting. It's called the About the Winelands pop-up. And if you want to get your customers excited about your lockdown or online specials, you need to email us right now. Email us at visitthewinelands at gmail.com and add Winelands pop-up to the subject line. Who knows? We might just make you an offer you cannot refuse. That is visit the winelands at gmail.com. Now, on with the show. Welcome back to About the Winelands. Today we are talking to Soela Masoga from Soela Wines. Good day and welcome to About the Winelands, Soela. Hi, Will. Thank you so much for having me this morning. It's a pleasure. You must be excited today that um, uh, you can actually start um, selling wine again in South Africa, right? I am super excited. Finally, we can all get back to work. I mean, uh, we've been having a lot, a lot of orders lately. Um, Yeah, so I think even our uh, consumers, our customers are looking forward to finally enjoying a glass of wine. (laughs) That's awesome. That's awesome. (laughs) So, Sabina, tell us a bit about yourself and um, how you became involved with, um, you know, our fantastic wine industry. Okay. Um, um, I actually come from Polokwani in Limpopo. So I was born and raised there. And when I finished with my high school i decided to uh, come study in cape town and fortunately for me i initially thought i was going to study medicine but my marks were not so good (laughs) so that didn't happen Uh, and i studied biotechnology so that's where i got um you know a whole understanding or an idea about the existence of the wine industry if i might just ask if i might just ask did the Mm. wine have anything to do with the fact that your marks weren't so good (laughs) they were good they were good just not for medicine (laughs) i'm just checking yeah (laughs) so um i mean uh, biotechnology is basically this well the use of microorganisms to to come up with products and one of my majors were uh, fermentation and microbiology so that's how i got to you know, have an idea about, you know, what winemaking is all about and the fact that there is an industry which is the wine industry. And I got so interested. I think also the fact that it was something I never knew about before just made me more interested and more, um, you know, willing and interested, obviously, to learn more about this industry. And fortunately, when I finished with my studies, I got an internship with one of uh, the wineries in Stellenbosch. So I was with Waterstone Wines. That's where I began working in the wine industry. I still found it very uh, interesting and I still wanted to learn more about the industry. So I was fortunate again um, to work with Distel, which I worked with for a couple of years before I ventured into Cirela Wines. And after that, it just became one uh, thing uh, on top of the other. And I've also still continued with my studies, I still do at the moment, <laughs> because I think you can just never stop learning about wine. And currently, I've partnered with Kulenhof in uh, Stellenbosch. That's where I produce my wonderful range of wines. Okay, awesome. So, which year did you, which year did you start um, Sewella Wines? Uh, 2018. 2018. Oh, so you almost, um, so just over two years ago. That's that's yeah, wonderful. Still fresh. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Um, so um, tell us a bit more about the wines you're producing and, you know, the wine making philosophy that underpin your wines and what you are looking for um, in the wines that you're taking to market. Um, currently, I'm producing more of uh, entry level wines, and the whole idea is to target. Uh, you know, people who are new to drinking wine. And obviously, 
those are the kind of wines that people will be more um, keen to try. And I believe that, I mean, there's, there's also room for, for, more, for, more, for, more, for more business there and for more growth, especially if you are looking at the upper part of South Africa and uh, the majority of South Africans who actually don't even drink wine for obvious <laughs> reasons. <laughs> So more entry level wines, sweeter wines. That so that's what I have on my range, and a bit of um, yeah. So mostly it's just entry level wines, and I mean the philosophy. I think my philosophy to wine is just. I mean, being a scientist, I think I appreciate more the science behind you know wine making and actually uh, you know letting nature take its course when it comes to uh, producing wine. So. Um, and what was the other question? <laughs> no, that's that's fine. You actually answered. I was just uh, so so. Oh, yeah. Your market. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's. I mean, it's a great idea. I think this is a, something that we all should be looking at, right? If we can get more mm. people to convert mm. from drinking, maybe just from drinking beer to drinking wine, we'll have a booming industry, right? Yes, so, absolutely. So so there's a big growth market right here in your own backyard, which is going to obviously yes. things are going at the moment. It's going to be more important. I think going forward. So where are your wines sold? Mostly in South Africa? Are you exporting anything? At this moment, we only export to Ghana, but uh, we sell mostly online and only in South Africa, but okay. still looking for more opportunities in terms of the export market. So do you think there's a big developing market for exports in Africa? I think so. I certainly think so, because uh, I think if, especially for South African wines, I think with the export marketing initiatives that we have done, I've seen that, uh, you know, as South African wines are not so much into various markets, especially in Africa. Uh, so it's only like your French wines and all that. And obviously people are always looking for, you know, something different, something new. And I think South African wines stand a good chance in, uh, you know, doing well within um, the African market. Um, yeah, so and a lot of African markets also, you know, look up to South Africa. So I think they're most likely to, you know, also be interested in our wines. I mean, they are also, I can tell you that even for Botswana, for example, I know it's not really another country, but, <laughs> but Botswana, I have a lot of inquiries regarding the wines from Botswana. That just also shows you that, you know, um, other people, especially within Africa, are most interested in our wines as well. Yeah, I've heard this from other people as well, and um, there also seem mm. to be a bit of premium on um, the African export market. So that's great. Mm, mm. Yes, definitely. So your marketing, um, I've noticed if I looked around a bit and what you're doing and stuff like that, it seems that social mm. media is, is one of the places that you're focusing on. And how important is social media in your marketing and what other channels are you using? So I think um, social media right now is uh, the most important tool for marketing. Um, it has a lot of advantages. With social media, you don't really have you know, to be there physically to talk to people, to market your product. You can speak to anyone, even, not, even people who are not in South Africa. I've seen that happening a lot, people inquiring about our products because they've seen it on Instagram, they've seen it on Twitter. And the other thing is you don't really need a huge budget to, you know, to market your product online. I mean, at Suela Wines, we sell our, all, our, all, all our sales are generated through social media. So which is really great because, you know, um, it just shows how effective social media alone is, you know. And it, it's also really great because with your following, with, with, your, with your customers on social media, if they're really happy about, you know, your product, they actually become the other marketing agents because they share your, 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 um, what is that? You know, they share your content. They talk about your product online. So that also helps a lot. Well, that's amazing. I mean, um, yes. uh, it's very true that you, what you're saying is the importance of yes. social media. And like you say, when people wake up in the morning, they're on their phones, right? Yes. First thing yes. and, and yes. basically the whole day. So just yes. on that point, I mean, um, uh, do you, um, how involved are you yourself with the social media marketing? Are you um, doing a lot of the posting and, and engaging with um, customers yourself? Yes, I do. But I do have two other uh, people on my team on marketing. Mm -hmm. um, so they basically focus because we also have a, a content creator. She's really good at it. So <laughs> okay, cool. uh, 
Uh, yes, and um, a designer as well. So we work together. But I am also very involved in um, our marketing strategies. And um, if people order, how do your sales work? Because I noticed, um, um, do you have a do you have an online shop on your website, or or how does that work? Mm -hmm. So what we do is uh, when people order, like all of, everybody who orders our wines basically get them from social media. So they'll send us a DM to say, hi, I'm looking to order your wines. And I just take their WhatsApp number and send them an invoice. They pay and then we deliver. So this is a lesson for people that are saying we can't do things, right? If you, you don't need a lot <laughs> of stuff to actually get going. I love it. So, so, so basically you're a wine hustler. Sorry? You're a wine hustler. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I love it. So, so, talk, <laughs> so tell us, you've also hustled a, a, a wine club. So tell us how that, um, that um, the Suela Wine Club works. So, well, the wine club, I've been struggling a lot into constructing something that can add a bit of value to, uh, you know, our customers. And, you know, I've been trying this and that and looking at what we can do other than just offering them, uh, you know, uh, discounts, you know. And uh, also, obviously, we do have eight different wines, which means that if a client gets our product every month, they can still get six different wines. But, you know, I feel like wine clubs work much better when there are different brands involved. Then consumers can be able to, you know, have a different brand like different brands at one go, even if it's mm -hmm. all under the wine club. And obviously having an extended benefits for your wine, I mean, wine club members, it always pays off. And then we, we just recently decided to have a wine club that is not just about, you know, uh, them getting wine at the end of the day, at the end of the month. So with this wine club, we're going to, you know, encourage, we're going to keep our customers, um, you know, we're going to keep, giving them uh, different uh, discounts like on our wines, uh, on our events that we're going to be doing obviously after the lockdown. And um, I'm just also going to really create a, a club where we're going to be tasting wine and, and just socially tasting wine, talking about wine, and also creating a platform for, for the club members to also learn about wine. So I want it to be more engage, engaging and more, um, you know, value adding other than just sending them wine at the end of the month. I think this is a trend that we're going to see in the wine industry and it's already happening mm. is, is that wine clubs are um, expanding into becoming lifestyle clubs. Yes, yes, definitely. I think that's the way to go. Because, I mean, if you look at it, I've also had some people who are looking to, you know, uh, go into a different wine club. I think people want something. They want activities. You know, they want well, like you said, a lifestyle wine club. I think that's what we, we need to work towards. So talking about learning, um, you're also doing um, online wine classes, um, I noticed on your um, Instagram. So can you tell us yes. more about that? So I've always been really passionate about wine. And like I did, I don't know if I did mention with regards to my target market being the newbies to wine. Mm -hmm. And I've also noticed that a lot of people um, that uh, talk to me ever since I've started with this journey, and obviously because I'm more accessible, they can send me a DM and everything. It, is, it has always been about, you know, the questions around wine, the questions about the industry. So there's a lot of people who are really interested in learning about wine, interested in understanding the industry, and especially people who are not, are fortunate to have experienced the wine lens who you know they've never been to cape town they've never been to a wine farm before um if they were to buy a bottle of wine they would buy it because i mean they're buying alcohol but that experience and that appreciation for wine and a deeper understanding for what wine is really what wine is you know they crave that and i decided you know what um this is also going to be one way for me uh, not only to promote the brand and the business, but also, you know, to get involved, obviously also trying to add value to our customers and people that we interact with at Seawilla Wine. So um, the online classes are also part of that. But more than that, the, um, I would like to go into a project which will um, get unskilled people to basically have, you know, your... Um, what is this? Your hospitality basic training in 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 um in wine. I mean, uh, I know for a fact that wine is not just only for the consumption of it. 
but you know there are people who can benefit from the skills that come with wine and hospitality and these people can basically get you know um you know a, a simple jobs at restaurants or wherever depending on the training that they get so in the long term in the long term in the near future i would like to um do that kind of a project well i think that's fantastic i, I spoke to somebody a while ago who started off as a waiter in the wine industry became a sommelier mm. and now are now running mm. a um a wine importing business for african wines um in the netherlands you know so that path Imagine. can happen right I quickly want to share something exciting. I have heard via the grapevine that the Fishwives Club will be launching a new lifestyle club soon. If you have not heard of the Fishwives Club yet, just know that you are probably missing out on the sexiest wine label out there. To stay in the loop, please quickly go and follow them on Instagram. The Instagram handle is at the Fishwives Club Lifestyle. Let me repeat that, at the Fishwives Club Lifestyle. Now, on with the show. So on yes. that point, you know, um, you said that you, you aim to get more young Africans involved in the wine industry. So mm -hmm. what, what are your plans in this regard? You know, um, um, are you planning anything else besides what, what you mentioned so far? Uh, so what, 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 I, what I'm planning is, uh, like I just said with the project, I hope, um, yeah, maybe next year or later this year, if I can start with uh, maybe a number of 20 young people that have no skills whatsoever, but a bit of metric and just see how we can help them into getting, you know, the basic training here, uh, in wine. Uh, but I'm also looking at uh, mentorship as well. Mm -hmm. So this mentorship thing that I want to do is just to basically identify young people who have um, the interest. And obviously, they can show that they are dedicated to building skill, I mean, careers within the wine industry. And yeah, I've already, I already have a number of people um, that are interested in such. And I think most, most people really, especially black people, um, they are interested in the wine industry. Uh, I get every day, every day I get these questions. And sometimes I'm not even able to respond. <laughs> oh, my word. Yes. So I think I think 10 years from now, we're going to be seeing a lot of, um, yeah, a lot of black people within the wine industry in various, um, yeah, various dimensions. So which is a good thing as well, because remember, um, even with the whole idea of a lot of black people not being so interested in wine, the more black people are also, which the more people involved in the industry as well, depending even in distribution whatsoever, marketing whatsoever, it will also, you know, increase the number of people as consumers that get um, absolutely that interested I, in wine. I totally yeah. agree with you. That that is that mm. is absolutely true. Mm, mm. So something more serious, um, the whole coronavirus um, has forced all of us to uh, really um, rethink our business models. You know. Um, yes. And, um, and you, you've taken the brunt of it by being in lockdown and not being able to sell wine. So mm. going forward, do you have any changes or new ideas in mind? Um, at this moment, I wouldn't say much, but I'm, I'm thinking of, obviously, we've always been selling online, but I think um, from now on, selling online will be the, the, the new thing. It will be mm -hmm. the, the normal thing. So I think we just need to focus more on our marketing strategies online and being more present online. Awesome. So, so Willa, your wine journey so far has been interesting and I think, you know, it's, it's still happening. So tell us a bit, what is the most important thing that you've learned from your wine journey? I've learned that it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> It is not easy, but uh, fortunately, if you're passionate about it, um, you're more than you're more likely to, you know, hang in there one more day. <laughs> that's just it. But it's not easy. Oh, that's awesome. So your vision ultimately for Suela and Suela Wines, where do you see this going? Um, I would like to basically, I mean, see us growing into an international, not just being, you know, growing locally, but also, you know, growing and, and uh, extending our footprint um, internationally as well. So that's where I see us going and possibly like maybe in the next five years or so. 
Okay, that's awesome. So the other thing that I would like to ask everybody is you need to give us your um, very own or your favorite wine quote. <laughs> this one, I think, okay. Uh, I would say that uh, every relation, every friendship begins with a bottle of wine. <laughs> there you go. There you go. I like that. So, so whether if people want to want to get hold of you, um, want to contact you, or want to start a friendship by sharing a bottle of wine, how do they get hold of you? They can uh, follow us at Sewella Wines on all social media platforms, and they can visit our website www.sewellawines.co.za for more. Okay, that's awesome. We'll put all these links down in the description. So, um, okay. yeah, so Willa, it's, it's been such a pleasure talking to you. Um, Thank you so much. Um, I haven't laughed so much in a while, so that was quite, uh, <laughs> quite nice. It's, uh, I mean, and um, good luck with everything. I think you're going to be busy in the next few days, right? Just people rush to get their orders in. So yes. anybody, anybody out there, right, you need to DM Sowella and get your online orders in. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for spending the time with us. Appreciate it and um, good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting our show. If you would like to get more exposure for your business, please have a look at our sponsorship options. Thanks again for supporting About the Winelands. Please follow us on YouTube and on our social media channels. All details and links are in the description.